Taking a live look right now at Providence Park. If you are planning to enjoy a Timbers or a Thorn match coming up, you can expect to be asked for proof that you are vaccinated or with a negative COVID-19 test result. Fox 12 Sammy Gutierrez joins us now live with the thinking that went into the policy change at Providence Park and why this is happening now. Yeah, the president of business for both teams says that they wanted to strike a balance between allowing as many fans as possible in to see a game and keeping them all safe at the same time. The organization specifically cited the rapid spread of the new Delta variant of COVID-19 and the risk to unvaccinated children as motivation for the requirements. They're not new requirements necessarily. The team also required proof of vaccination before the state opened back up at the end of June. This time around, fans entering the gate will be asked to show their physical vaccination card or a photo of it if they, on their phone. <clears throat> they also have the option of presenting proof of a negative PCR test in the last 48 hours prior to the event. President of Business Mike Golub says this is something they've been thinking about for a while and that they're proud to be leaders in this space. We talk to our fans every day. We do research all the time. We know that the great majority of fans are vaccinated, but also a great majority of our fans wanted us to implement these set of protocols. And the policy will go into effect for the Thorns game on next Wednesday. Also, masks will be required in the concourse and in all indoor spaces. I'm Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12, Oregon.